What's up filmmakers, it's Hobie from Condor Blue and I'm here to show you how to install our updated Sony A7 series cage. Before we dive into this build, I wanna go over some of the exciting new features you can expect with this updated design. For starters, each joint is now secured with two bolts, giving extra security and peace of mind, and the eyelet threads have been adjusted to work with more camera bodies. The left and the right threads are offset, meaning you can use one or the other, depending on which one lines up with your camera. Here it is on the a7 IV using the right thread, and here on the a7S III with the left. If you want to take advantage of the additional mounting points on either side, you'll simply remove these two M2.5 screws and reinsert them into the camera's eyelets, giving you extra security while shooting. These are not essential, however, the cage is designed to hold the camera securely even without them, and this does disable the quick release Arca system, so keep that in mind. We will have the eyelet thumb screws available soon if the toolless option interests you. We introduced another solid point of contact to increase rigidity of the cage using the hot shoe mount on the camera. This allows for a solid build even without using the eyelet screws. However, it can be removed for those of you who utilize the hot shoe interface for XLR audio module or flash photography. To gain access to the hot shoe, just take out the bubble level thumb screw, remove the two bolts on top, and the hot shoe mount comes right off. There's still a bubble level on the cage, so you don't lose out on that. We've also relocated strap mounts and added one to the bottom for extra handheld security. There's also a built-in cold shoe safety release to ensure your accessories are securely attached to the cage. Simply press down the button to add or remove accessories. Now let's open it up and see what we're working with. We have four plates, all the hardware you'll need to put it together, and the top handle, which is optional. Start with the bottom plate and take out the M2.5 screws that are pre-installed on the left-hand side. Now take your left plate and slide it on, lining up the grooves and reinserting the two screws you just took out. Finger tight plus a quarter turn should do the trick. Next is the right plate. Just like before, you'll remove the two pre-installed screws on the right side of the bottom plate, then slide on the right plate, matching up the grooves. Reinsert the two screws and you're done. Then we have the top plate. Start by unscrewing all pre-installed screws on the left and right side plates. Then with the bubble level toward the right, the top plate should slide right on. Reinstall the four screws and you're good to go. Now it's time for the camera. Slide the Arca Swiss plate out of the bottom plate by releasing the lever on the side and pressing the blue safety release button on the back. Then secure this plate onto the bottom of your camera with the included screw. Before sliding it in, make sure the blue thumb screw on the top plate is removed. Then slide the Arca Swiss plate back into the bottom plate, tighten the lever back down, and reinstall the blue bubble level thumb screw so it fits snugly into the shoe. And if you own the version with the top handle, just loosen the thumb screw, depress the spring loaded safety button, tighten it down, and you're done. Then plug in the provided cable and make sure the switch on the front is set to S for Sony. If you're looking to rig out your camera even further, we have several pre built kits and complete rigs to get you ready for production at any level. Well, that's it for this video guys, let us know what you think. You can always reach out with any questions or comments, our support team is always happy to help. I'm Hobie with Condor Blue, and I'll see you guys next time, and don't forget to stay creative.